We turn to health news now. New developments in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. Doctors are now focusing on inflammation as a possible factor, and they say there are some simple things that people can do to reduce their risk. Dr. John Torres tells us more. Who's that? Connor O'Brien is like so many Americans, struggling to take care of a father with Alzheimer's. Growing up, uh, he was the life of the party, you know, class clown. And now I just look at him, he's my hero, and just, just cry. After so many drug failures, now scientists have a promising new target, inflammation. So this is what a healthy brain should look like. But when there's inflammation and disease, the nerve cells are wiped out. Decimated, just threads of them left. Dr. Rudy Tanzi at Massachusetts General Hospital discovered inflammation kills millions of nerve cells, shutting down the area responsible for thinking and memory. And he says there are things you can do now to fight inflammation. So these lifestyle interventions, how do those help your brain prevent Alzheimer's? Each one does something different. Sleep helps clean up the brain. Exercise helps grow new nerve cells in the brain. Diet helps your bacteria and your gut to, to help your brain. New studies suggest lifestyle changes can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's by up to 60%. Dr. Tanzi says you can protect yourself with the shield. Sleep, handle stress, interact with friends, exercise daily, learn new things, and eat a healthy diet. I want to stay healthy. I hope I'm never in my dad's shoes. Simple steps we can all take to fight inflammation the possible culprit behind this devastating disease. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Boston.